Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we are back for round two to replace a second actuator. Here's the one that I did yesterday. We're going to be changing this one today. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech. This is a large four pipe fan cool unit. Yesterday we replaced this actuator with some pipe work and today we got to change this one problem is we got all this in the way this is in the way this is in the way this is in the way i mean everything you could imagine i'm gonna see what's the best way to change that actuator with the valve and with this pipe work Let's begin by closing the valves all right this is closed Oh, and that valve right there is actually closed as well. So from here, you take off this cap and drain what's inside the system. Man, look how rusted this is. All right, let's open this one up. Oh man, I think it's super dirty. Let me try to open it. plugged I get a screwdriver and that should clear it we start by taking off this kind off right here so we get some access super tight space so I want to take off this actuator because I'm gonna be spinning it on you could pull out this knob and just simply unscrew this. And lifts right up. Okay. Let's just take that, put it to the side somewhere. So the idea would be to cut this and spin off this valve. Cut this. I'm gonna try to open up this valve manually to make sure at least this valve is holding. Get the bucket. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. A little bit coming out. Just gonna make sure it stops because this valve is in the closed position. This one off too so I can spin it off. Alright. Tough space to work in. So we got this cut now. So the idea will be to spin off this valve so we get that one on and then we're gonna rebuild this. The only thing is to get some pipe wrenches in there is extremely difficult. I hope some leverage with this I'm gonna need some Superman strength Ooh, I got it So we can't spin off this strainer and we really don't have that much space. So what I want to do is unsweat this. So it's ready. Let's go. I'll let you know. Two thousand years later. 
right. Got it out. Woo. All right, so we're officially clear here, but there we have some solder. What I want to do is sand that off because we're going to use all press fittings from here and down. So let's rebuild this thing. Apologize for the noise right now. We're in the chiller room. Got two absorbers here. Just want to use the vise and pre-build everything in advance. We got these male pipe adapters and union. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use mega tape. It's good for gas and water lines. I want everything on the vise so I don't got to use the pipe wrenches up in that ceiling. So let's go ahead, put on the Teflon tape and tighten everything down. Simply gonna do the same for the opposite end. I wanna prep this union onto the actuator, and while I'm doing this, what I want to do is actually spin the new valve on. We got no space for the actuator, so what you do is you could actually pull this, pull this back, and there's a screw here. Simply unscrew it, and you can lift the actuator right off. And then from there, we can prep and also install. Everything's nice and prepped. Let's go ahead and start this. We start by cleaning up this thread a little bit, put some new Teflon tape, spin on a new valve, and then from there start crimping my connections. Hold that back over there. some leverage okay you got it all right I think that's it Got the Milwaukee Force Logic. This thing is amazing. Working with inch and a half pipe. Let's go ahead and crimp this first connection. Got this on there. Oh man, hopefully I could fit it with that sprinkler pipe. Right there. Teeth look good. Let's crimp it. Peace. I'm gonna prep.
up the pie by reaming it and giving it a light sand with some scotch pad. All right, this was as close as I was able to get it. I just hope I have enough length on this pipe because I had to adjust this a little. We're just gonna have to go for it and see what happens. Well, hopefully this works. here we gotta tighten down the union snug this down real quick I hope I got this pipe if anything it's this area that worries me but we'll see all right just opened up that water I don't see a flood in here so it's looking good man it's amazing let's open this one okay that's a beautiful thing wow here's our actuator Let's line this up. There we go. All we gotta do is just tighten down the screw. Slide that down. That's done. That really does look good. Super clean. Same with this one. That's a beautiful thing. From here, what I want to do is gotta insulate the pipes and wire it. All right, so here's the control panel. This is a BMS control system where this communicates with some software where the engineer can control this unit and monitor it using his computer. So for now, we gotta troubleshoot. I'm sorry, we need to rewire the two new actuators. This was the cooling actuator, that was the heating one. They both come in over here. I just send the power off. So let's go ahead and run the wires in and make the new connections. All right, just matching up the colors. All right, guys. Everything is wired up. Got the heating and cooling. From here, we got most of it insulated. Looks pretty good. This one, oh, we gotta finish that little end up. Got the Kindle back on. Supports, we're wired. Got no leaks and everything's looking good. And the last thing to do is really test it from here, but I'm gonna end the video at this. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.